What's up guys, Dr. Ryan here with another episode of Smashing Wealth. In this video, we're gonna bring you a second stimulus check update. We'll be discussing where we are in the process of getting a second stimulus check payment, what roadblocks are holding it up, and how much money we are looking to expect from a stimulus check second round payment. We're also gonna be discussing all the proposed second stimulus plans and how likely each plan is to be passed. These plans include the HEROES plan, the Republican plan, the Senator Campbell's Harris's plan, and the White House plan. This way you will know what kind of second stimulus bill that you should be expecting and how much of a stimulus check too will be deposited into your bank account. This video will be a full second stimulus check update. So let's get into it. The whole country is watching in anticipation of a second stimulus check. Everyone is wondering the same thing. Will we be getting another $1,200 payment? All the big wigs in Washington are raging back and forth on getting a second stimulus check passed. Right now, if we look at where the economy is, the Rona situation is getting worse in certain parts of the country. The unemployment numbers have dropped to 13.3% because of some of the fancy counting methods. But nevertheless, these are the numbers that people are reacting to. It has become increasingly difficult to find a common road between the Democrats and Republicans as the situation from the Rona Rona has improved. What you will notice is that in times of crisis, we band together. And as soon as we start to drift from that epicenter of that crisis, it gets increasingly difficult to get parties to agree on getting a second stimulus check passed in America. This is a situation we find ourselves in in our second stimulus check update today. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said that the past $600 stimulus check has been very effective and helpful for the economy. He did not come outright and say that future stimulus checks are needed. If you take this into account, his overwhelming support of the first stimulus check, I would bet you that he is in strong support of a second stimulus check in the USA. Right now, our politicians are looking at the cost-benefit analysis of second stimulus package. They are analyzing if another second stimulus payment is needed. The Bureau of Statistics reported that the unemployment rate has dropped to 13.3%. This is a major problem as far as the second stimulus payment is concerned because some of the political figures are questioning if a second stimulus check is even necessary. Their thoughts are, well, the economy seems to be getting better on its own, maybe the government doesn't need to get involved and everything will just work its own way out. After all, a stimulus check round two is a major expense for the US government. The Democrats have already pushed the HEROES Act through the House of Representatives. The HEROES Act is the second stimulus package. Now the bill is waiting for a Senate vote where in my opinion, it will have a super hard time being passed. The HEROES Act would have similar aspects to the first stimulus package. It would also have a $1,200 second stimulus payment made to individuals. This would be capped at 6,000 per family. A person would receive up to 1,200 bucks in the form of a stimulus check too, if their adjusted gross income from their 2018 tax filing was less than $75,000. If you're the kind of person who gets things done right away and you already filed your 2019 taxes, they would use this number to determine your adjusted gross income. As a result, you may want to talk to your tax professional to see if it might be worthwhile to wait to file your 2019 taxes. Because if you made a lot more in 2019, and because of it, you wouldn't qualify for a second stimulus check, maybe you would still qualify based on your 2018 income. If your AGI is above 75,000, the amount of your stimulus payments would start to be phased out the more and more you make over 75,000. The biggest difference between this second stimulus package and the last stimulus package is that this time you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. The other difference is how dependents would be treated. Each dependent would be entitled to a $1,200 payment. This would include possible dependents like your parents, your relatives who can't take care of themselves, and college students. This second stimulus bill would also continue the $600 payment per week that is scheduled to the end of July. This second stimulus payment would extend the $600 weekly payment until January 2021. The HEROES Act would cost approximately $3 trillion to execute, while the last stimulus act, the CARES Act, took $2 trillion in funding to execute. As a result, the second stimulus package would cost about $1 trillion more in funding. Now that we're all up to speed on this second stimulus update in regards to the HERO Act, let's break down a proposal by the Republicans. The Republicans are looking to put a stimulus plan into place that would cost less than $1 trillion. This would be one of the cheaper proposals out there put on the table so far. 
in regards to a second stimulus check in the USA. The Republicans are looking to reduce Rona-related liability for businesses and for medical professionals. This would prevent Rona-related lawsuits. This is a big deal because businesses and the medical profession as a whole worry about being sued. No one wants to increase liability that results from a pandemic like this. No restaurant wants to pay damages because of a diner who came out to have dinner and then claimed they got the Rona Rona from eating there a few days later. The Republicans aim to draft a bill that would eliminate this potential liability. The Republican plan would provide large amounts of assistance to small businesses, which are the lifeblood of our economy. The Republican second stimulus plan would also look to help out the healthcare as a whole in America. Republicans have openly stated that if this second stimulus bill was executed, this would be the last Rona-related stimulus package from Congress. At this point of this second stimulus check update, let's dive into the White House plan. There is a plan being drafted up by our president. His plan involves incentivizing people to return to their old jobs or to find new ones. The White House has been proposing plans to cut the payroll tax. This would increase the amount of take-home pay each Americans would have. Naturally, as taxpayers take home more money, they tend to spend more money buying services and products. This in turn allows businesses to grow, who in turn hire more employees, which increases the overall employment rate. Not to mention that these new employees would have more money to go out and spend, and the cycle continues. The White House plan also has initiatives for people to get out again by taking vacations and traveling once again. The Donald has strongly advocated for the creation of tax breaks for anyone that wants to take a vacation this year. Personally, I like the sound of that. It would be nice to get away to a tropical island knowing I would be entitled to a nice tax break when I file my taxes next year. The White House plan is also looking for ways to add incentives for people to go out and eat at restaurants and businesses of that nature. The White House plan is geared towards stimulating the economy as a whole. The idea behind it is take care of the economy and the economy will take care of the people. The White House seems to want to discourage people from staying home and collecting unemployment payments. There are talks to lower the unemployment payments to $250 to $300 a week. Right now, the CARES Act is providing for a $600 a week payment until July 31st, 2020. They figure out that by doing this, less and less people would want to stay home since they're earning less versus actually going to work. Let's break down some other packages in this second stimulus update. Senator Kamala Harris proposed a $2,000 per month second stimulus until January 2021. This, of course, would be very expensive to fund. It would probably be the most expensive to fund, and as a result, it is the least likely to happen. We have an unemployment rate right now that's higher than the Great Recession. The Rona Rona is showing no signs of disappearing, and so many people were living paycheck to paycheck prior to this pandemic even hitting. The people as a whole feel that more can be done to help the individual people out and the businesses. As a result, a second stimulus check is needed. The first stimulus check still has not been given to everyone. An estimated 30 million plus people still have not received the stimulus check, and these were people that were owed one. With that being said, a second stimulus check is not anywhere close to it coming out this week, next week, or even the week after that. Right now, the legislation is waiting to be voted on in the Senate. Since it hasn't even been passed yet, it will take time for the Senate to look at it, analyze it, and tear it apart. If the stimulus package makes it past the Senate vote, it still needs to wait for the president's signature, which doesn't look too likely. If the president does sign it, a determination will need to be made to see who qualifies for a second stimulus in America. I anticipate that this will happen a bit past the new July 15, 2020 tax deadline so that this new tax information from the 2019 tax year will be used to determine if you qualify for a second stimulus payment. There isn't as much urgency between stimulus check round two as there was behind the first stimulus package. As a result, I see more modifications, meetings, and speeches before anything that resembles a second stimulus package is passed. Question of the day. Do you think a second stimulus check will be passed before the end of July? Drop a comment down below in the comment section of this video and let me know. If you made it this far in this video, please consider smashing that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell to be alerted when I release future videos. I highly recommend joining our mailing list by going to smashingwealth.com. This way you'll be the first to know when I release new videos in the future. 
I left a link to join our mailing list in the description below. Obliterate that like button if you're feeling generous. Feel free to share this video if you felt that this video was a great second stimulus check update. You can also hit the save button to bookmark this video to come back to this video later. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at RealDrRyan. Don't forget that Robinhood is giving away one free stock just for signing up for a free account. Make sure you claim your free stock from the link in the description section of this video. Webull is also giving away two free stocks. You get one free stock when you open up an account. If you deposit hundred bucks, Webull will give you another free stock with this one being valued up to $1,400. Don't forget that even if you don't wanna use Webull, you can sell the two free stocks and then withdraw the money you make from selling them along with the 100 bucks you initially deposited. It's all your money after all. You can claim up to three stocks for free from the links in the description box below. That is free money in your pocket. Let me know which stocks you get in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this second stimulus check update. This is Dr. Ryan. Until next time, have a smashing day.